Two men were freed from prison in North Carolina today after spending more than 30 years behind bars for a crime they did not commit. They're free because of DNA evidence. The courtroom erupted in jubilation this week when a judge declared death row inmate Henry McCollum and his half-brother Leon Brown, who was serving a life sentence innocent of a 1983 rape and murder of a child. A North Carolina Innocence Inquiry Commission discovered evidence that cleared both mentally disabled men. Another man's DNA was found on a cigarette butt left near the victim. That man, Roscoe Artis, is already serving a life sentence for another rape and murder. At 9.42 this morning, Henry McCollum regained his freedom. How do you feel, sir? I feel wonderful. I want to thank God. And shortly after, an emotional reunion with family. How you doing? First up for Henry McCollum, learning to live in a new world. While on death row, he was not allowed to open a door, turn on a light switch, or use a zipper. And when the family car prepared to leave for home today, there was one more lesson, how to use a seat belt. And then you pull it down like that and clip it into the belt buckle there. Lawyers who helped secure Henry McCollum's release say the family has no plans to seek compensation at this point, although that could change. There are currently 152 men and women on death row in North Carolina.